In this video we're going to look at taking a free flash game and using our tool to put that onto Facebook uh, so that we can monetize it. So we're going to begin by creating an app within Facebook and we will have to decide a couple of things about our app as we go uh, but I'll cover that as we do it. So I'm, I'm in uh, developers.facebook.com forward slash apps. Uh, you can also get here by going to facebook.com forward slash developer and it will redirect you. Uh, if you haven't been here before you will have to accept some terms and conditions go through a security check, just uh, confirm a, you know, tell it what a graphic is. Once you've done that, you get a button that says create new app. And so we're going to do that now. And I'm going to give it a name. Now the app I'm going to use here, and I will cover how we find these games in a moment, but I've already downloaded one called Gold Panic. So that's what I'm going to create on Facebook. So I'm going to call it Gold Panic. And then the app namespace, this is how the game will be addressed within Facebook. People will go to apps.facebook.com forward slash and whatever that goes in this namespace. Now this has to be unique. You can't use a namespace that somebody else has already got. Uh, so the chances of getting Gold Panic in this case, uh, who knows, we might get it and it will check and it will tell us that that's no good, it's failed. Um, and in fact, it's failed because I put uppercase letters in it, so let's just try and call lowercase. Failed, so I would imagine that's because somebody has already got it, yep. So we will call it a Gold Panic Game, see if we can get that. That is available. So that is our app namespace, we will need to remember that. Uh, the best thing that you can do as you go along for things like this is just keep uh, track of uh, useful bits of information in a notepad file and then we can just copy and paste those later on as we need to. Okay, just got to go for a security check here. And there we go. So, it has created our app and it has assigned us an app ID and a secret ID. And again, we will need these in a moment. So I'm actually going to just copy and paste these from here into notepad file because uh, it will just make things a little bit easier in the next stage. OK, so we've got our game, we've got our app namespace. The um, only things we really need to set up at this stage uh, is the information under app on Facebook where we're going to tell it uh, what the um, URL is uh, and what the secure URL is. Now all Facebook games have to have a secure canvas. Uh, in fact I wouldn't be surprised if they don't get rid of this option in the very near future. So we have to decide where we're going to be hosting it. Now I have um, some web space already set up with SSL and so I will create it on MySpace, which will be, uh, we will put in here, uh, and we will call this uh, Gold Panic Game as well. I tend to keep the name on my server to the same as my namespace. Uh, it just helps me keep track. It's not necessary. This can be absolutely anything you like. And I'm just going to copy that out of there and pop that in the canvas one as well and just drop the S off the HTTP. Like I say, all canvas URLs have to be secure now. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't vanish in the very near future and you just have the secure one to fill in. Okay, so that's, um, that's basically what we need to have set up there. You can obviously select the category. Uh, and put it into the so I'll put it in the games category and it's like an action game and click save changes okay that is as much as we need to do I recommend that you do this part the edit the icon uh, and the graphic for the game now the uh, game that I've downloaded actually has suitable graphics in it already 
they come supplied so I can uh, do those and I can set one for the main game as well so use a larger one for that uh, or you can create your own so that's so those done save changes and we're ready to go that is the app end of it set up on Facebook there's no need to change anything else other than those fields there and uh, so I'm going to minimize this and let's just talk first of all actually about where I get these games from it's very easy go to Google type in free flash games for my website or something similar and you will find dozens and dozens of sites where you can download the game files now you will need to know the width and height uh, of the flash game that you're downloading some sites actually display that on the website so you can just take the information from there if they don't it's not too difficult when you download a game they come with an HTML file Now we don't need that file but if we just open that up in our favorite editor and you don't need to know anything about HTML just look for where you see it say width and height pretty much it's going to appear once or twice in the file so I know now that the width is 550 and the height is 420 and that is the size that I will need to specify in a moment so again I'm going to copy that information into my notepad file okay so now we're ready to run the piece of software that pulls all this together so give it a name I'm going to stick to calling it gold panic and then it wants to know what the width and height is so if we remember from our file the uh, width was 550 and the height was 420 uh, I'm just going to set that a little bit bigger than it actually says just to be safe some games put a little bit of a border around uh, so as long as you go just over you'll be fine select our game file so let me just go and find where I have that and that will be the SWF file now we want our app ID so if you remember I copied that in here and then it's going to want the secret ID normally when I do a video I would blur this out but I'll just change it straight after I've made the video you don't ever want anyone to know what your secret ID is because uh, it lets them mess with your game okay now it wants to know what the uh, canvas name is this is the name this is basically the app space name uh, they used to call it canvas name and they changed the name of it so we called it gold panic game okay now it wants to know the full path of where we've put the game I didn't actually put that in there, but I remember it. There we go. Forward slash on the end. Okay, a still image for the game. It says this should be a JPEG file. In actual fact, Facebook isn't fussy. It will let you use a GIF or a PNG. Uh, Facebook used to specify JPEG only okay the invitation message this is the message that will appear when somebody sends an invitation to their friends to play your game and uh, so by default it's put in check out this great fun game gold panic i think you'll love it you can change that to whatever you like and there's also a message for when something has been posted to their wall uh, when somebody does a wall post to indicate they've been playing the game it will say whatever the name is has been playing and then whatever the name of your game is and then underneath there's a bit of text uh, and that is this whatever goes in here will appear there so I just got to check it out now which is fine okay <clears throat> enter the HTML code for your top ad basically above and below your Facebook game there is a banner ad space and in here if you use uh, a game 
monetization system like uh, Rock U Ads, for example, then they will provide you with HTML code and you just copy and paste that in here um, and it will put that ad in. Or you can do what I've got here, which is basically have an ad that it's pointing to, which is running just on my server. It's just a graphic and a link. Uh, I'm quite happy with that, so I'll leave that for the top and for the bottom. Okay, it's now going to create the files, so I need to tell it where I want to uh, save them. Just make a new file. Uh, okay, okay, files. And when it's finished, it tells me it's done, and it tells me it's created the files, and it's put them in this folder here. And this is basically all of the files I need already set up, ready to upload to the web space that I specified. So now it's just a matter of opening up your favorite FTP program, connecting to your server and uploading them to the path that you gave. So I'm going to do that now. Gold panic game. files from here if you're interested this is 3d FTP that I'm using here uh, you can use FileZilla or whatever you're familiar with so we upload the files and we should be done so now if we go to uh, back to Facebook we go to Called it Gold Panic Game. Okay, so the first time it runs, we have to give it permission. Yep, that's fine. I want to play the game. Free free games. Jungle.com. <laughs> okay. And there's our game. My banner hasn't appeared, probably because I've pointed it to the wrong place. So I'll check that in a second. There's our game. Has an invite feature. And you can see there's the uh, invitation line that's going to appear. You can tick whoever and then send. And cancel that. Jungle. It's got a like button up here, and it's also got the wall post. And remember, I said to you on the wall post, uh, that's that text that it's pulled in. There we go. So that is how to uh, create a monetized game from uh, a free flash game and put it onto Facebook using this tool.